So legacy automakers are in deep waters and this actually presents a win-win situation for Tesla stock. So let's go ahead and quickly break this down. Now, typically when you're looking within a sector in the market, what you'll find is that a lot of the stocks in that sector tend to move in unison. Not that they move in an identical pattern, but that they move in a similar fashion. However, let's go ahead and take a look at Tesla stock. In the last two trading sessions, Tesla stock has actually pushed upwards. Although it's been a minuscule amount, it hasn't been like Tesla has been having rocket ship type of days, it has been pushing upwards. However, you start to see a divergence in regards to comparing Tesla stock to some of the legacy automakers like GM and then of course Ford where we actually see the stock moving downwards in the last few trading sessions. Now this is because of a major event taking place. Now of course we know that these legacy automakers have been struggling in the aspect of trying to manufacture and, and be profitable in the EV space as they have been losing billions of dollars trying to compete with Tesla and luckily have been being saved by their ICE vehicles. What we're seeing is a completely different situation take place. So let's go ahead and talk about it, right? So right now we have a situation where the UAW which is the United Auto Workers, uh, which is a labor union that represents workers in the automotive industry, their contracts recently expired. In fact, let's go ahead and show you guys this article. We're right here, it says, contracts between the large union workers and the big three automakers are set to expire tonight. If the negotiating parties can't reach a new deal before midnight, a strike will likely take place. Now that means trouble for Ford and General Motors, and this is likely pushing those stocks downwards as a result. Now here's the thing guys, if these legacy automakers actually have their workers go on strike, well, that's going to be an issue as far as production. Now, we know that they do have some inventory, right? So it's not like it's drastically going to make the company just fall down uh, and not be able to produce new vehicles. They do have some inventory, but that's not necessarily good news if their workers go on strike. Now, the other issue is if they do strike a deal, well, that's just another issue that we have to pay attention to. For example, let's go ahead and talk about this right over here. We recently saw that Ford CEO says that the UAW proposal could force bankruptcy. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So Router said today that Ford uh, CEO Jim Farley said today on Thursday that the United Auto Worker Union proposal to hike wages by 40% and cut work weeks and uh, work weeks and add new pension benefits could bankrupt the company. And then in quotations, it says uh, that he said, you want us to choose bankruptcy over supporting our workers. And so the problem is, even if the workers don't go on strike and they actually come up with a deal, well, that actually uh, cuts into the operating margins for these legacy automakers. Now, this is coming at the same time where Tesla stock, right? Well, if, if we... Uh, if, Elon Musk, uh, if Elon Musk holds his deal where he said in one of the recent earnings saying that the Cybertruck is due to come out in late September, well, that so we're seeing trouble on the horizon for a lot of these legacy automakers while at the same time, Tesla is about to have a catalyst event uh, come through if Elon Musk holds his uh, word uh, for the Cybertruck deliveries. And at the same time, we're seeing Elon Musk, you know, have no issues or, or Tesla in reality, having no issues with their factories. And so that's a huge concern. And so this is something that we want to pay attention to going into uh, the next, uh, the end of this week and also for next week. But with that said, I want to go ahead and talk about Tesla stock from a technical perspective. Um, but before we actually look at Tesla from a technical perspective, and I want to break it down both from the perspective of an investor and a short term trader, I want to highlight one of the trade ideas that we called out in today's uh, private group, in the Push and Profit private group, in our daily briefing, where I said today I'm looking at Microsoft and I'm looking to go long on shares or getting the 340 calls once the price is below $336.70. So if we take a look at Microsoft today, this was an excellent call out as once we saw Microsoft pretty much sell off in the beginning of the today's trading session, we saw it all the way go down to three, uh, $336.67, nearly to the penny of where I called it out in the Push and Profit private group and pretty much run upwards. So it was an excellent trade idea. And so if you guys want to have access to my daily briefings as long as well as my daily uh, trade ideas, make sure to check out the first link in the description below to check out the Push and Profit private group and you'll have access to our program as well where you have access to our video lesson library and a ton of other benefits as well. But I just wanted to highlight a great trade that we had for today as even when the markets do move flat sometimes there are opportunities presented now let's go ahead and uh really just switch back to tesla and, and really talk about tesla from a couple of perspectives so one of the things that we're seeing 
is Tesla is edging up higher closer to this area right over here now this is a significant area why well on this channel for a while now i've said that this is a major descending trend line that we've seen for tesla just looking at it from a, a technical perspective where we've seen tesla get rejected at that area a multitude of different times one two three if we keep going four and now we're approaching it again and so what we actually want to pay attention to is hey if tesla does have some more positive days and we do get the catalyst event of cybertruck uh, that pushes us upwards well we could possibly break above this descending trend line and enter into a new trend and that's huge right because if tesla has been on a downward trend and then we break that trend well that means that we're introduced into a new trend going upwards and so that's something that we want to keep our eyes on now for a long-term investor one of the things i do when it comes to tesla is i buy in at two uh, pivotal moments i like to buy in when we break into a new trend or when there's a lot of selling and then confirmation of an uptrend. For example, last time uh, Tesla had its earnings, there was a capitulation in its price where we saw a lot of selling. And then uh, I called out this area over here in previous videos where you could check them out, where I talked about this was gonna be a significant area to watch for Tesla stock bouncing. And indeed it was. I talked about the underlying reasoning why uh, this area was a huge area, the early 200s, uh, really just combining some uh, economic issues as well as uh, technical um, reasons why this was going to be a huge uh, you know price to look at and we saw Tesla stock bounce and that's when I ended up adding more into my long-term portfolio so again I don't like buying just because something's selling off I, you because know, at the end of the day you could catch a falling knife so what I like to do is just wait for the selling pressure to be over and see that confirmation of an uptrend and that's indeed what I like uh, did for Tesla but if Tesla ends up breaking this descending trend line, well, that's another opportunity that I would love to add into my long-term portfolio because, again, that's confirming that there's a new trend that's broken this de uh, descending trend line. Now, as a short-term trader, uh, and I have to clarify this, I invest in Tesla in the long term. I am bullish on Tesla in the long term. I think what they have in their product, uh, product line is going to put a lot of these legacy automakers out of business. And I think that Tesla definitely is should not only be looked at as of auto uh, as a automotive company and also be looked at as a tech company in the sense that they have a lot of products as well in that product line such as the Optimus uh, humanoid robots as well as FSD that could be a complete game changer for Tesla for example when we think of Amazon everyone thinks of Amazon for delivering packages etc but really a bulk of Amazon's revenue comes from something completely different like Amazon's web services so that's something that we could possibly see where Tesla where even if they kill it in the automotive space they still have a lot more going for them when we're in you know just talking about uh, services that they could license right and then of course uh, the Tesla uh, Optimus robots and so that's why I'm bullish on Tesla in the long term but as far as Tesla in the short term one of the things that we want to pay attention to is what happens as we get closer over here and guess what one of the major events taking place soon is on September 20th, which is just about a week, less than a week from now, where we're going to have the Federal Reserve make the decision on monetary policy on whether they should hike, pause, or, or cut rates. Now, you know, the futures markets are predicting, and, and I actually said this uh, about almost a month ago, even way before the future markets started uh, pricing this in, but I've said that it's most likely that the Feds are going to pause in the September meeting and that's going to be seen as a bullish catalyst for Tesla right and so that's something we absolutely want to pay attention to what's going on with monetary policy because of course that could cause a huge spring in the overall market going upwards and then the next thing that we want to pay attention to with Tesla is really just looking at the fundamentals for example next week we're going to, or not next week uh, next month we're going to be getting the delivery numbers for Tesla which is going to be an indication for how they're going to be doing for Q3 so definitely a lot of interesting uh, things happening not only for Tesla but seeing what's happening with these legacy automakers but I want to keep this video very short sweet and concise and you guys let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on these legacy automakers will they survive in the long run or will they actually die off again I believe that they won't do too well uh, going into 2024 2025 and 2026 but at the end of the day only time will tell but there's definitely a lot that's going on with Tesla, and I want us to really pay attention to this area over here. 
But again, I, I want to keep this video very short, sweet, and concise. Make sure to check out the link in the uh, comment section below. I'm going to pin a comment so you guys can check out my free weekly Market Pulse Insights, where every single week I talk about what we should be paying attention to in regards to the overall market. And again, it's completely free. So check that out, and I'll see you guys on this next video right over here. Take care, guys.